All right, in Alex, you're going to be asked to graph a parabola. Problem type, in problem type 3, you're going to have um, fractions a lot of time in your equation. So basically, the first thing you're going to want to do is find your vertex. Now, your vertex is, remember, just a little reminder, is that point where your graph changes direction. And then you can find some x values um, to the right of that vertex and some x values to the left of that vertex, and then graph those. Okay. So to find the vertex, the x-coordinate of the vertex, you're going to use a formula. And that's going to be x equals the opposite of b over 2a. This is one method for graphing. Okay, there's some other methods you could do as well. Okay. And this is when a is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So in our problem here, a will be 1 fourth, b is 1 half, and c is a negative 15 over 4, but we, we don't need that for our formula. If you look at this, it should look kind of familiar for if, if you've already done the quadratic formula, right? It doesn't have the plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac part. It's just this first part of that quadratic formula. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to plug this um, into your a and your b value into the opposite of b over 2a formula. Get your x-coordinate of your vertex. So I'm going to do that. So opposite of b would be a negative 1 half, and that's going to be divided by 2 times a. a is 1 fourth. Okay, so what we have here is a negative one half. Remember, this is like two over one. So two over this will simplify. The two becomes a one and the four becomes a two. So you can simplify this. So in this case, we're going to have a negative one half divided by a positive one half. Now, from here, we can see that's going to be a negative 1, but just for our purposes, so you can see what's happening here, that this is a, remember, this is a negative 1 half divided by 1 half, which means they mean the same thing, okay? These two things right here mean the same thing. So remember when we have, when we're dividing, we change that to multiplication and flip the fraction on the right, and we can see from there that we can simplify and get a negative 1. So I just kind of wrote out a lot more here so you can see what's happening um, and then I'm sure that you can kind of simplify that process a little bit. Now this is your x value, okay? Now to find my y value, my y coordinate, of my vertex, we're going to plug our x value into the equation and solve for y. equation and solve for, for y. Okay, now, so here's my equation, y equals 1 fourth x squared, so that is going to be a negative 1 quantity squared, plus 1 half times a negative 1 minus 15 over 4. Okay, so we're going to simplify this. A negative 1 squared is 1. So 1 fourth times 1, it's just 1 fourth, plus 1 half times a negative 1, it's a negative 1 half, minus 15 over 4. So, and I'm going to go ahead and change that to plus a negative 15 over 4. Okay, now we just need to get common denominators here. So um, I'm going to multiply uh, the one half here by two over two so that I have a denominator of four for that one. So that's going to give me plus a negative two fourths plus a negative fifteen fourths. So now that I've got the common denominator I just need to add these numerators together. So one plus a negative two is a negative one negative 1 plus a negative 15 is a negative 16 
over 4, which is a negative 4. So that's my vertex. My vertex is the coordinate negative 1, negative 4. Okay, so now once you find this vertex point, um, what you're going to do um, is you want to think of your x value, which is a negative 1 here. I want you to think about that on a number line. So picture a negative 1 on a number line. I want you to pick the number on the left of that, which would be a negative 2, and the number on the left of that. Okay. So here I'm going to, you're basically going to make this XY chart here. And let's see, what was that value was? A negative 1, negative 4, right? And so we think of our negative 1 on the number line. To the left of that would be a negative 2. To the left of that is a negative 3. Now we think of our negative 1 again. To the right of negative 1 on the number line would be 0. And to the right of that is 1. Okay? Those are your x values. Now you're going to plug these back into your equation, which was 1 fourth x squared plus 1 half x minus 15 over 4. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to plug these in to um, each of these x values into the equation. So for example, I'm going to do 1 fourth times a negative 3 squared plus 1 half times a negative 3 minus 15 over 4. Okay, and then we simplify this. So we do use our order of operations. We have got to do the exponent first. So negative 3 times a negative 3 is a positive 9. So 9 times 1 fourth. So I'm just going to write this out. I think of that as 9 over 1. So this gives me 9 fourths plus 1 half times a negative 3. That is going to give me a negative 3 halves plus, I'm going to say this is, call this plus a negative 15 over 4. Now I need a common denominator, so I'm going to need to multiply this one by 2 over 2, and that's going to give me 9 fourths plus a negative 6 fourths plus a negative 15 fourths. Okay, so 9 plus a negative 6 is a positive 3. Positive 3 plus a negative 15 is a negative 12... Uh, Sorry, I was just double checking what I had before. So, um, negative 12 over 4, which is a negative 3. Yep, okay. I was looking at a different point, which I thought was going to be a fraction. So, <laughs> this next value is going to give us a fraction. So, Okay, so we're going to continue this and we plug this in. Again, we're going to replace the x with a negative 2 plus 1 half times a negative 2 minus 15 over 4. And so this is going to give us um, a negative 2 squared is 4. So 1 fourth times 4, that's going to give me 4 over 4. Okay? Plus, um, this, when I multiply these together, this is like a negative 2 over 1, remember? So this will give me a plus, and, and I'm just going to write it out as a negative 2 over 2. You can obviously simplify that, but I'm not going to do that because I know I'm going to want a common denominator again. So I just kind of left them in that form, and I can decide to simplify later. And I'm going to decide to not simplify, to multiply these by 2 over 2. So that I'll end up with basically 4... plus a negative 4 plus a negative 15 over 4, right? So that's going to give me a negative 15 over 4. Oops. That goes over here. Now what happens is if you plug this all in and you continue this process, 0 is kind of nice because you can see if I replace x with 0, these two terms become 0, and I'm left with a negative 15 over 4. And you could plug 1 in here and do the same thing, but I'm going to have symmetry here, right? 
So this is my vertex. Whoops. So this is my vertex right here. And you can see the values to the right, right, are symmetrical. And these two are the same. So um, now when you go to graph these, We're going to plot these points, so um, negative 3, negative 3, plot that point, and then negative 2 and 15, negative 15 over 4, I'm going to need to use this um, tool here, plot a point anywhere, and so I'm going to type that in negative 2 and um, negative 15 over 4. and plot that point. And then I have negative 1, negative 4. Okay, I'm going to need to use my exact thing here. And that's going to be 0 and negative 15 fourths. and one, negative three. Okay, and then you're supposed to plot here. So I did something wrong, as you can see from here. This doesn't quite look right. Ah. Okay. Um, I plotted that point wrong. So let's redo that one. This one is um, negative one and negative four should be right here. Okay. So you can see if it doesn't look right, then go back and check your points again. And then you click that button and it connects it and draws your parabola for you. Okay?